Hey everybody, Brenda here. I hope you all are having a good weekend. Um, I have been working on my um, Foxglove Forest journal, trying desperately to get some ephemera to um, add to the inside. So I was watching this video. I'm gonna set this aside. I was watching this video um, by Mad Paper Crush and she had um, uh, what she called was a, I think a, a tag with a secret uh, journaling note card or something like that it was called. Anyway, she inspired me to make one for my foxglove journal. So this is what it is. This is a nice size tag and it supposedly it looks like a regular tag but on the inside or it's like a hidden pocket and um, on the inside we have this cute little journaling space which I thought was absolutely adorable so um, you put the tag on the journaling space instead of um, on the tag like we usually do. So once you have this inside, it looks like just a regular tag. So I thought I would bring you along and show you how I made it. Very simple, very nice uh, mass make item that you could do for your um, journals. So, what I did first for this one, I took my cutter, paper cutter, and I took a sheet of uh, um, cardstock and I cut out a bunch of pieces of cardstock that measure three and a half across, three and a half by six. And I just used up the whole uh, sheet and just cut them all out. So I had those and then I used my, um, my little cheater card to cut the ends to turn it into a tag base. So I have my tag bases here. So then I'm gonna grab one of these since I cut so many, if I can grab it. So there's my tag base, three and a half by six. Then I have these um, uh, pieces or part of the digital kit that came, part of the digitals that came in the kit. I'll get it sooner or later. And all I did was go through my papers, and this one was like a collage page out of the kit. So I cut that down to three by five. Now our tag is three and a half by six. So our little pocket that goes on the front is three by five, three by five. So um, <clears throat> what I did was, I went ahead and sewed the top because my thought was uh, to sew, uh, that I was gonna sew all around. So first I sewed the top with a zigzag stitch on each one of them. And this is if you're mass making, because um, you know, I, I started mass making these. So I sewed um, each one of the tops anyway. Um, but for the sake of this video, I am going to glue this pocket down because if you don't have a sewing machine, it's just as easy to glue down our front pocket. So I'm going to distress my tag. So just, um, you know, want to make it easy for you guys to do some mass makes. And I have a lot of work ahead of me as far as, um, you know, 
getting some ephemera ahead. I don't know if, if you remember or if I told you, but I've lost a lot of ephemera in the move. So I am trying desperately to catch up with everything. Okay, so this pocket I am just going to glue down. Because, like I said, if you don't have a sewing machine, and I can, you know, I can sew it later, um, later on, um, off camera, but I just want to, you know, show you that you don't have to sew it. You can just glue the three sides down on your pocket. Still can't dry straight with my glue. So I'm going to try to center this as much as possible, which looks pretty good. Okay, so there we have our tag base and our pocket. And then what I did was take like another piece of, you can use the digital or um, uh, a tag, you know, cut a tag or something. And I cut this down to, this is the pocket tag and this is cut two and a half by five and a half. So we have our tag at three and a half by six, our pocket at three by five, and now our little insert is going to be two and a half by five and a half. And what I did was cut this down uh, off a of digital, and then I always back it. I backed it with this, um, I like this line paper that I got from Amazon. I um, like to use that as my tag backings or journal card backings because it gives you some sweet little lines to work with. And so I glued this onto that paper. Then I went ahead and got a little strip of fabric and just single, um, single stitched the little topper on to the little tab onto this but you don't have to sew this you can also use like one of your little uh whale tail you can use one of those or you can put in a um eyelet but the idea of this is, now we made this so it would fit right down into our pocket, but the idea is to um, make it look like that the tag at the top is just the tag um, for the tag and not the you get what I'm saying? <laughs> so it looks like the tag topper is on the tag and not on the uh, little insert. So I guess um, if you use certain, like, I don't know her name, but she was using... Uh, her backdrop paper on the tags here were about the same tone as the tag, but I didn't have, and I mean, I didn't look that hard, but I mean, I didn't have anything to uh, really match. So I just went along with some little cutouts that I had, but that's the idea is to make the, um, the topper look like it's part of the tag. And that way you have a little secret um, journal space is what she was getting at. 
So I thought it was a cute idea. So um, that's what I am currently making for my uh, Foxglove Forest collaboration journal. And I thought I would show you guys what they look like. I think they're pretty cute. Um, what I did think I would do is maybe add a tag or something onto, I don't know if I, onto my front of my pockets. I don't know if I want um, one of these or these are pretty, pretty blue one that might look pretty, maybe on that side and something I don't know if I have anything with like a purple a purplish or a green could be a green too I guess oops That kind of blends right in. So, don't really want anything with yellow. Maybe this one with white and brown. I think anything you put on this is gonna blend in because my pockets are so busy. This one goes this way. If I put that, I think that stands out a little more. Now I'm not sure about this one. that one stands out a little more too. There's one more blue one in here. This one goes up and down. Yep, I like the up and down. Those are going to be my tags. Mm. Don't remember offhand where these came from. Ah! Uh, if I find out, I'll link it below. I just, I just can't remember everything like I used to. I think it has a lot to do with my, um, sh my age. <laughs> I just can't remember things. But anyway, I will share the link below if I can figure out where I got my little tags from. I need to. I need to, what I need to do is to uh, put little tags, little um, written things on my um, storage containers so I know where I am getting these things from. Because I do like to give um, credit, you know, where credit is due for the beautiful work that our um, digital makers do for us. I'm going to put that right there, if I can get it straight. Yes, I like that. So, um, yeah, I like to give credit where credit is due for our hard at work digital makers. They do an awesome job. I don't want to cover any birds or anything, so I think that will go right there. All right, that looks better. So, um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Just sitting at my desk, quietly playing and making things. So there's the tags with the hidden journal space. And um, like I said, I thought they were really cute, so I wanted to share them with you all and um, show you how to make one. 
So I will go ahead and, you know, be making others as soon as I um, get off here and so so what I can. Other than that, I think that's all I have to share at this time. I'm just like I said, playing with the Fox Glove um, journal and trying to get it um, done is what I'd like to do. Other than that, guys, sorry it's so short, but I had to come on and at least show you that much and um, say hi. It's always good to, you know, get on video and get to talk with you guys. Um, other than that, I hope you had the rest of the weekend is very, um, you know, happy and safe for you all. And uh, if you're new to the channel, of course, welcome. Very much appreciate um, you uh, checking me out. And uh, if you hit that little bell and um, subscribe and everything, things will pop up. Videos will pop up for you as they come along. And I hope uh, you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And we will see you again shortly. Bye-bye, everybody.